I'm over here sitting in traffic. Per usual, I'm really late today, so it's more traffic than normal. And I need to get a car mount, so I'm not holding this camera while I'm driving. This precious cargo, I gotta stay safe, you know. But I am heading into work. Today we are doing an all pink out day. I don't have no pink breast cancer shirt, but I do have a black one. Um, so we are supporting the breast cancer survivors. 15 minutes later. struggle like really it really is lately I have not been in the mood to meal prep or do any of that so with me not meal prepping it's causing me to go get something for lunch and if it's not a salad I end up eating a few fries and right now I want some water burger fries so I'm about to be messing up going eat some water burger fries and it just makes me mad because I need to stop being lazy and just meal prep I felt bad. I had enrolled a student this morning and she was upset because she thought she was in middle school. So they originally went to the middle school to enroll her into class, but she hadn't been in school since the pandemic started. And I think a lot of parents believe that their kids are just gonna be passed to the next grade. If we don't have any documentation that your children attended homeschool or at least did some kind of virtual learning. Wherever your kids last left off at, that is where they're gonna be at. So, Poe Baby was a little upset that she had to come to elementary school, but I made sure to welcome her with open arms, make sure she was good. I gave her a great teacher. I'm not the one that picked the teachers, but at the end of the day, she has a great teacher and we were able to get her where she needed to be. But I just need y'all parents to know if your kids did not attend school during the pandemic, like you are definitely doing a disservice to your kids. Like think about how they feel. Think about their age. You know, they, their age is going to make or break them you know just because your child might be 12 does not necessarily mean they're gonna go into sixth grade if they didn't if they don't have no proof that they attended elementary and completed fifth grade then they're gonna go back to fifth grade and they're gonna be long tall and probably get talked about so be mindful of what you're doing with your kids and how you're gonna go about their schooling from here on from here on out just because there was a pandemic there is no pads for these kids at all we are done. I love you. Have a good day at school. It's a track park. Where are your track stuff? Oh. Bye. All of that land over there, they're about to be building brand new houses near my daughter's high school. So the whole area is about to be flooded with new people. Move to Houston, they say. But you're not going to be in the city. If you got a big family, you're probably going to be in the suburbs, living right over here. Don't come for me because I'm using my little Halloween filter. It ain't too spooky, but I think it make my eyes a little purple. I look cute with little purple eyes. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hope that y'all are having a great 
Friday. I love Fridays. I'll be definitely looking forward to Friday. I have always been off on weekends. I don't even know what it's like to work the weekends. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I did I did briefly pick up another job where it was strictly on the weekends, and that was very short-lived because I like my weekends. But um, like I said, today is Friday. We have a lot going on on the campus. They are doing a um, trunk or treat thing. I think it's our first time doing it here at my campus. I know when I was younger, we always did it at churches or at other place i think it was only at churches because when that's going to be after school it's not going to be during school i probably won't be volunteering or participating because like i said i like my fridays but other than that i hope that you all are having a great start to your day we made it ladies we made it so give yourself a pat on the back and if your week has you in a chokehold I understand. I already told you the same thing happens with me. We just got to come up with, with a little defense towards that chokehold so it don't take us under. I hope you guys have a great day. I will check in with you. So once I get started and settled into my morning, I go Thank out you. in the halls and I greet my students to make sure that they are good and have a great day. Good morning. So my class, what you need? What you need? You, you think you slick trying to stand by me? What you need? I'm waiting for my cousin. You don't need to wait for your cousin. Y'all see each other at the house. Have a good day. Good morning. Look at my grading, and I got 800 for all the data I input yesterday. So every day I get graded on the data that I put in to make sure that it is accurate. So I had 100. I'm going to close that out. Then we're going to open. Is the math math? <laughs> We have now made it to the end of this video. Thank you all for coming to Mingle With Me Brown. I hope that you are enjoying this new work series that I am doing. As you all know, or as you see that I am a campus registrar, a lot of times we don't really get to show what we do for work, but here on my channel, I like to keep it 100 so you can see all the ins and outs of me on a daily, weekly, monthly basis of being a regular woman, a mother, a worker, just any and everything that is good to my soul. I am her. She is me. And that is all. I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. You were never a good girl, but you're a better woman now. Eva. Eva. Eve of, Eve of.